OK, so you've read the question. But I've really found over the years that the hard part about this kind of question is setting it up. The math, I hope you'll see, is really easy. But setting it up can be the hard part. So I've drawn the transformers. And if you read the question, you understand that there's sort of four parts to the question, but only three transformers. At first, the power is generated at, what was it, 800 volts. So originally, we started with a voltage of 800 volts. Then there was a transformer, which changed that voltage up to 300,000 volts. Okay. I'm going to call that stage two, transmission. Then there was another transformer that stepped it down to, what, 12,000 volts? Let's call that step three. That's like between the stations. And then in, I think, the neighborhood is the wording that we used. Almost destroyed my mic. There's a fourth step, which is in the neighborhood. And that has a voltage of 1,300 volts. So we've got these questions, one, two, three, four. Instead of calling voltage primary and voltage secondary, I'm just going to call them one, two, three, four. Because here, the primary is 800, the secondary is 300. But here, the primary is 300, and the secondary is 12,000. But here, on this transformer, the primary is 12. So let's just say one and two, three and four, four. One and two, two and three, three and four. That'll be a little simpler. So what do we do? The power generated was equal to 250 megawatts, 250,000 watts. And that's got to be equal to the current in stage one times the voltage in stage one, which is 800 volts. So the current in step one is 250,000 watts divided by 800 volts. And that means that the current is about 312.5 amps. So the math is really easy. Piece of cake. These are 100% efficient transformers. What's the current in step two? The current in step two, we'll use the transformer. V1 over V2 equals I1 over I2. And finding the current in step two, we can see that I2 is going to be I1 times V2 over V1, that doesn't sound right at all, because it's not right. I've written my formula down wrong. Silly, silly, silly. And actually, not at all a bad example. Maybe we can edit that out completely. Should I try again, pretending there was no mistake? So what's the current in stage two? To do that, we're going to use the transformer formula. V1 uh, over V2 is equal to I2 over I1. And we can see that I2 is equal to I1 V1 over V2. I1 V1, though, that's just the power. That's 250,000 watts. So I could really just say to myself, what's 250,000 divided by 300,000? And when I do that, I'll get current 2 is equal to a fraction, right? A small number, 0.83 amps. And of course, that's the whole point of transformers. High voltage for transmission produces a really low current. The power is still 250,000 watts, but the current is tiny. And of course, currents that are really small don't make a lot of heat in transmission, so we don't waste as much energy in transmission. So that's the current here, 0.82. What about after it goes through this? So 300,000 volts at 0.83 goes into this transformer. What comes out? Well, that's going to be V2 over V3 equals I3 over I2. But when we rearrange this again, we're going to see that it's I2 V2 over V3. That's just 250,000 watts. That's the power. They're all efficient. They're all the same. So what's 250,000 divided by 12,000? That's 20.83. And that is current 3. 
how much current is available in our actual neighborhood to use. One more time, we'll use a transformer for three and four. So this time V3 over V4 equals I4 over I3. And rearranging, we can see that I4 equals I3 V3, which is again just 250,000 watts divided by V4. And that turns out to be 190 what is that, 2.3, if I can read my own writing? 192.3 amps. So hopefully an easy question. The math is really simple, and you can see what I mean. It's just 250,000 divided by 800. That's the current here. 250,000 divided by 300. That's the current here. 250,000 divided by 12,000. That's the current here. 250,000 divided by 1,300. That's the current here. The lower the voltage, the higher the current. The higher the current, the more waste in the wires. But the safer the wires are. You don't want 300,000 volts in your neighborhood because you're going to fry the kids as they're running around, as they build up a bit of static electricity. A spark will scorch them. And that's bad. So it's usually bad. It's bad. It's bad. The real question, I guess, would be what if the transformers weren't 100% efficient and we still needed this much power how much would we have to generate if, say, all of them were 95%? That'd be an excellent, excellent, excellent test question.